Samsung released the Samsung Galaxy Fit 3 this year in February, and it has become very popular in the fitness tracker community. Its unique design and smooth interface sets it apart from other smart trackers. I have already published videos on its unboxing, setup, and comprehensive review. If you have not seen them yet, click on the i button to check out the Samsung Galaxy Fit 3 playlist. In today's video, I will be conducting a heart rate accuracy test. I will compare it with the popular Garmin Forerunner 245 Music, which is specifically designed for fitness enthusiasts and provides highly accurate results. To ensure better accuracy, I will perform two tests and swap the watches between wrists after one test. In the first test, I wore the Garmin Forerunner 245 on my right wrist and the Samsung Galaxy Fit 3 on my left hand. Before revealing the results, I want to share something with you. In the past, I have tested the heart rate and GPS accuracy of other watches like the Galaxy Watch 6, Watch 5 and the Apple Watches. I connected the health app to Strava to compare heart rates lap by lap. However, the activities from Fit 3 does not sync with Strava because Strava only syncs activities recorded with GPS and Fit 3 does not have GPS. So, I will directly compare the results from the Samsung Health with the results from the Garmin watch. In the first test, according to Garmin, I ran for 8.13 km in 55 minutes and 7 seconds, while the Fit 3 recorded 8.93 km in 55 minutes and 19 seconds. The difference is significant, and I believe the reason behind it is the absence of GPS in the Galaxy Fit 3. If it had GPS like the Galaxy Watch 6, it would be able to accurately track the distance similar to the Garmin watch. If we talk about the average heart rate, according to Garmin, it is 149 BPM, while according to the Galaxy Fit 3, it is 148 BPM. Garmin's max heart rate is 171 BPM and the Galaxy Fit 3's max heart rate is 166 BPM. The average and max heart rate are nearly the same. Despite lacking GPS, its heart rate sensor is very accurate. Now, let's move on to the results of the second test. But before that, if you have liked the video till now, please subscribe to the channel. In the second test, I wore the Fit 3 on my right wrist and the Garmin watch on the other. According to the Garmin, I ran a total of 5.15 km, while according to the Fit 3, I ran 4.75 km. The average heart rate is quite similar. According to the Garmin, the average heart rate is 171 BPM and the max heart rate is 193 BPM. While on the other hand, the Galaxy Fit 3 showed an average heart rate of 167 BPM and a max heart rate of 178 BPM. Once again, the results are very similar, indicating that Samsung did an excellent job in making its heart rate monitoring very accurate. In my opinion, there might be very few tracking bands available at such a low price that can match the heart rate accuracy of the Samsung Fit 3. If you're looking to purchase it specifically for heart rate tracking, then it's definitely worth considering. You can find the Amazon link in the description to check the latest offers on it. In terms of heart rate accuracy, this $60 Samsung Fit 3 band performs like a $500 smartwatch. But what about the GPS tracking? As you already know, the Galaxy Fit 3 does not have GPS. So, I thought of taking a connected phone along for a run to record GPS data. However, what I discovered is going to surprise you. In this test, I also tested the Nothing Watch Pro and here are the results. The Nothing Watch Pro accurately mapped the track, but the Galaxy Fit 3, with the help of the phone, did a very poor job of route tracking. It only connected the starting and ending points the Fit 3 is not good for tracking running activity. Instead, you can check out more videos on the Nothing Watch Pro by tapping the i button. That concludes the heart rate accuracy test of the Fit 3. For more videos like this, subscribe to Wearholic. If you enjoyed the video, please like and leave a comment if you have any questions. See you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.